And so last week, I finally reduced my screen time. And I mean, I see a lot of YouTube too, but here we go. This is my five day guide that helped me reduce screen time. Today, I will walk you through a two part framework. So each day from Monday to Friday, we're going to take some time off on Saturday and Sunday. Each day, I will provide you with two things. One, changes you can make on your phone and two, modifications to adjust in your daily routine. And while we're at it, we're going to explore and take a walk in one of the seven wonders of the world. Why not? The tips I will share with you are straightforward. I will not ask you to download an app or sign up for a program. And I'm not asking you to get yourself into the desert, go underwater, or get lost in Mars. All these tips are very intuitive and you can start following by watching the full video. So now let's begin with Monday. You will go to the settings of your smartphone and then figure out a few data points. When you go under the settings, you will learn a lot about your current usage of your phone. Things like notification, how many times of the day you pick up your phone, how many minutes or hours are you on your phone each day. You will also be able to see a cyclical pattern. Is there a certain day of the week you use your phone the most often? And by figuring this out first, this will help translate into some small changes and modifications you can make to your daily habits. We begin by asking ourselves, why am I on my phone? I'm not saying that all phone usage is bad. I need to pick up calls or call my mom and dad and sister in Korea. I want you to use your phone as a tool and feel more free in the process of doing so. You're watching this video because you want to eliminate the bad screen times, right? Then ask yourself, what emotions do you feel when you're on your phone? And why are you using certain apps more than the other? For me, I felt that I was scrolling through YouTube a lot after work to decompress, so I'm on YouTube a lot. It is an easy form of entertainment for me. After I identified that, I try to look for ways to de-stress and entertain myself after work that's not from my phone. Now on to our next step, let's get rid of your notifications because the more you have them, the more likely you are to pick up your phone. Make sure you are free from that constant reminder that you have to check your phone because the world's not gonna end. Another thing you could do is changing your phone setting so that after a specific time, you don't get notifications or calls. I use my sleep mode from 9 p.m. ones I tend to turn off are Hinge as well as Reddit. Those are fun, entertaining, but at the same time, it gets in the way sometimes. So I would check it once a day at a dedicated time. Which goes to my next point about changing your habits around when you want to check your phone. I also try to not use my phone during lunch and dinner. It's hard, but I really try. And I do this by turning my phone upside down. So I know it's not going to be easy to be in the process with you. I'll be filming this video as we take the stairs up to see the monastery. Alright, next up, we are going to reorganize your home screen. Because sometimes if you make it harder for you to do something, then it actually prevents you from doing it. To quote the least favorite phrase by all the people in long distance, out of sight, out of mind. I think it's applicable, especially with your phone. For the apps that you find too distracting, what you can do is instead of having it easily accessible on your home screen, you can hide it somewhere in the folders on the second or the third tabs. So that way, you make it a little bit more difficult for you to access it. I think it's really important how you start your day and end your day. It really sets the tone and the mood. I didn't want to use my phone the first thing I wake up in the morning. So last week, what I did was I put my phone away in the bathroom closet. When the alarm rings, like the whole bathroom is ringing, it was actually pretty effective to wake up. If you want to have better sleep, I highly recommend you give this a try. All right, next up. I want you to be mindful of the type of content that you're consuming. Oftentimes, I found that 
when I used to be on TikTok a lot, I would end the day feeling kind of poor about myself. The thing with these reels, TikTok, and also YouTube shorts is that they do a lot of harm in their attention span. So I want you to be mindful of that and try to cautiously watch them. Maybe give yourself maximum 10 minutes a day to watch them. And you can do this by using the time limit. Another routine I recommend is having something else in your hands. Sometimes I feel like we're attached to our phones because it feels nice like you're holding something, but you can replace that. Uh, so I encourage you to switch it out with a book or a pen. And if you're watching this far, I know you got this, you can do it because your willpower is going to take you very far in life. Okay, we're almost there. Start deleting your apps. I know this is a hard step, but once you get there, you will notice a significant difference in how you interact and use your phone. For your reference, here are the list of apps I deleted once in a while when they really need to access these i would go online and use a web app instead so give that a shot and see how you like it another setting that you can change is instead of using your data to be logged on to facebook or instagram i change my settings so that only when i have wi-fi is when i can use those social apps that way there's one extra layer that you need to go through hence making it slightly harder for you to access those apps okay Final step is calling your mobile service provider and downgrading your plan. This is what I do. I know it sounds a little psychotic, but trust me, it worked. So each month I can only use five gigabytes and everything else I need to be connected on Wi-Fi. And because I do this, I am a lot more careful when I pick up my phone. Do I need this right now or can I wait and do it later? By the time I wait a few minutes, then I have something else going on that's occupying my mind. And as we were talking, it looks like we made it. Look at those horses. The mule, yeah. The So there you have it. I hope my tips were helpful. And my next video topic is... Let's go! It's time to be the GOAT! It's time to enter God mode, man, let's get it going! I wanna be the greatest energy is overflowing I know I'm stoking the fire